Hello guys and welcome to a new video and in today's video I'll be showing another highly requested loadout on my Instagram the AK-117 loadout I have the legendary meltdown AK-117 but instead I'm using the Nightwind it's like a mythic AK-117 but without the fancy effects and if you don't have this skin and you like to use scopes don't worry just remove either the extended mag or the OWC laser then you can compensate for them in game by finding an extender mag or ADS mode for the laser so anyway, I was in game and I met Tribex. He's a Nigerian streamer on Facebook. And if you're on Facebook, make sure to check him out. Our fight wasn't fair to be honest. I had high ground on him and on top of that, I backstabbed him. But he was surprised on how fast he went down and I don't blame him. It's like getting killed by an aimbot cheater. Oh my god, what kind of a gun is that, man? So we teamed up and I gave him my loadout to try it and he was shocked. And this, his loadout is mad, man. Nice. I'm gonna tell you why this loadout is my best loadout by briefly comparing it to other meta guns right now, the AK-47 and the M4. First of all, it has the fastest fire rate with 769 rounds per minute. That allows it to kill extremely fast. So within 20 meters, the AK-117 has an overall faster killing time than both the M4 and the AK-47. It kills so fast, it actually beats many SMGs. But of course, with less hip fire accuracy. And it's a perfect choice for players who love to use snipers. Because you can use the AK-117 for close to mid range and the sniper for long range. Even at 50 meters, the AK-117 still has an overall fast Faster average killing time. The other things that stats won't tell you and it's something that you'll realize once you use this loadout. First of all, it's easy to control and it snaps right into the target. Second of all, it's so much easier to track enemy movement with it, allowing you to melt moving targets easily. The only thing that I hate about this gun is the reload time, which shouldn't be that big of an issue. Now let's move on to the gameplay and test this loadout in action. As I'm back to isolated after a long time. I'm playing with randoms to get better matchmaking but this game was pretty much a solo vs squads anyway. And I've been using the rewind class for few seasons now and I'm loving it. You know the undo button in Microsoft Office? When you mess up something you just undo. That's what the rewind class basically does. It allows you to be aggressive and whenever things go wrong you just rewind. It's also the best class to collect teammates tags and overall you can use it to outplay your enemies and I'll be landing in New Vision City. It's one of my favorite places to land because you get insta good loot as soon as you land, as well as a high chance of meeting enemies and having an early action. I got two kills and I knew there were at least two enemies around but I didn't bother chasing them. Instead I let them revive and I went to upgrade then I headed towards farm for my next fight. And that's where the real action started. Drop is coming. The rewind there was so clutch. I would have been dead to the hover back for sure. Airdrop. Incoming RPG. <sighs> I was gonna fight here but I heard the dogs coming. I swear these things aren't normal after the buff. They're straight descendants of Satan himself. And they'll shred you to pieces and melt your HP so fast. Then I was going to engage with this enemy but I heard his teammate pushing in the last second. When it comes to rewind you really need to observe your surroundings very carefully. Especially these days as more players use annoying classes. So you need to choose the right moment to engage. And I knew for sure that fighting there was a very bad idea. So I decided to back out and reset my attack. Mm. 
Dog tags have been scanned successfully. Enemy vehicle is nearly done for. Your teammate is on the revive flight. The air drop is coming. Airdrop has been delivered. The revive flight will arrive. Your teammate has been killed. This is one of the reasons why I love playing with randoms. They pinpoint enemies for me and make my life a lot easier. Be careful. The air drop is coming. Air drop incoming. Dog tag to been scanned successfully. Your teammate will return to the battle when the next revive flight arrives. Delivered. The revived flight will arrive in one minute. Engaging the enemy. Enemy down. Good. The rescue mission was successful. I scanned the tags, got my loadout, killed some random guy trying to loot, and right after that my teammate goes down, so I go back to revive him again. And guess what? He dies again as soon as he landed. The last revive flight will arrive in one minute. Your teammate has been killed. Get the dog tag and help them return to the battle. Your team is on the revive cycle. Enemy vehicle is nearly done for.
terminal is almost ready. I got my loadout a bit late, but honestly, the clip you saw in the start and this double kill right here should be enough to show you how powerful this gun is. The aim switch was so smooth, it looks like an aim bar. Trust me, that combined with the fast killing time will make enemies report you, and I don't blame them. I was also confused here as my aim was good, but none of my bullets were registering. I thought I was lagging, but then I realized I had a ground loot QQ9 with no hipfire mod, so it made sense. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, then kindly leave a like on your way out. And if you're feeling extra generous, then share it with your friends. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.